I say water lily paintings. You say Monet. Now I say ballet dancers. Right. The answer is the gas. Now in China, if you play this game with the clue bamboo, nine out of ten players would have guessed it right. His name is Zheng Banqiao. Zheng Banqiao devoted his entire life painting and praising bamboos. And let me tell you about my personal favorite. It is an ink on paper hanging scroll with a handwritten poem on the side of some bamboos growing out of rocks. The poem reads. 咬定青山不放松 Upright stand the bamboo amid green mountains steep. Its tooth-like root in broken rock is planted deep. It's strong and firm, though struck and beaten without rest. Careless of the wind from north or south, east or west. Through the vivid description of bamboos, Zheng Banqiao elegantly praised those who are determined and strong in sight. Today, allow me to present you Chang Shu Hong, the guardian of Dunhuang. In 1935, Chang Shu Hong, a promising medal-winning artist living in France, stumbled across a book showcasing some Dunhuang paintings and artworks. And was absolutely amazed. The man spent some forty years documenting, preserving, and publicizing these ancient works in Dunhuang. He was not intimidated by the tough living conditions there. He didn't give up when his team was lack of financial support, and most of his staff members found it impossible to carry on because of the sheer loneliness. Once, a friend asked him what kind of career he would choose if he came to this world again. He said, "I'm not a Buddhist and do not believe in reincarnation. However, if there is an afterlife, I will still be Chang Shu Hong. I'm going to finish the work I want to do for Dun Huan that I haven't finished yet." This is Chang Shu Hong. Like the resilient bamboos, he took deep roots in Dunhuang, and no trials and tribulations ever changed that. 千磨万击还坚劲，任尔东西南北风。If you want to know more about this remarkable man and his fascinating stories, just subscribe and listen to Old Wisdom, New Insights on all major podcast platforms.